Hi, I'm Brian with Sensors, and today I'm going to show off this 2022 Springdale 251BH. I like to start off on the front. We have a power tongue jack, got a light switch, another switch to raise the tongue up and down, and also in case of power failure, there's a manual way to crank this jack up and down. And behind the jack, we have two propane cylinders. Uh, they hold four and a half gallons each with a dual stage regulator that has a switch over valve. I just recommend opening one tank and using one tank at a time. And then behind the propane, we have a deep cycle marine battery. Uh, it does utilize a disconnect switch. Uh, turning it to the left will disconnect it for storage. Turn it back to the right to connect it back. And then moving on around. Come on around. We've got a pass through cargo, of course. And then uh, switch here beside it. And this is going to be for the front stabilizing jacks. We just press and hold. Lower. It's always best to use something underneath the feet of the jacks, wheel chocks. The important thing about the stabilizing jacks is you always want to make sure you level the camper first before you put these jacks down to stabilize. Coming on down, we have a TV mount. We have a TV hook up here and some outlets to power the TV or anything else that you want to power up. As far as the entrance door, you want to make sure that you open the door as far as you can. You gotta put the steps up or take them out. It'd be a good idea to pull the latch, set the steps where they go, then put the latch back so it's locked in. When you pull the steps out, you have a paddle on each side that'll adjust your legs. Just make sure that you adjust the legs for this plate to go all the way down to the sill on the, on the door frame. We've got an outside shower that's right next to the door, which is really nice. That way if you're at the beach, you can at least rinse your feet off before you walk inside the camper. Next to it is a hot water tank. This hot water tank is going to run on propane or electric, either or. You have a drain plug with an anode rod down at the bottom going to use this to drain the hot water tank when you're done using it safety blow off a couple of important things about the hot water tank uh, just make sure it's full of water before you turn it on or light it all right next to it is a, a valve that's going to clean the sensors in the black tank so the monitor panel inside reads accurately that's what this valve here is for clean them sensors off in the tank We have a switch here close to the rear uh, on the same side as the one in the front for the rear stabilizing jacks. Uh, they work exactly like the front. Uh, here we have a cable or satellite inlet. If you go to a place and that's available, if not, there's an antenna on the roof for local channels. We have a shore power hookup here. It's gonna utilize a 50 amp shore cord. Um, it's gonna be still plugging it into 125 only. And next to it, we have an exhaust for your furnace. And the furnace is gonna run on propane only. And then down below, we have a bunch of plumbing that basically has two dump stations. Uh, this dump here that only has one date valve is going to be for the kitchen sink only or a grade number two or galley tank uh, this dump right here has two tanks uh, this gate valve is the black tank gate valve and this gate valve slightly up underneath here is for the grade number one gate 
tank. And always, especially on this dump where it has a black tank, just make sure that when you go to dump the tanks that you pull the black tank first. Wait till it's done, close it back, and then use the gray tanks to clean out that sewer hose. We also have two water line drains that's right above here as well. There's a hot line, cold line. These are just finger tight caps is all that's on them. You're gonna use those to flush and clean the water lines and drain when you're done camping. We get up close to the other side of the cargo, we have your water hookups, uh, city water. That's if you go to a place, water is available. And then next to it is a fresh holding tank. Um, there's a couple important things about the fresh. Uh, one, do not overfill it. Watch the monitor panel when you do fill. And when you are done camping, you need to drain it out. It has a drain all the way back, almost in the middle with the one blue line and a finger tight cap on it as well. And that's for the fresh holding only. So for those inspections, one of them is going to be wheel bearing inspections. So you'll need to have done at least once a year or every 12,000 miles. Just be sure that you keep your wheel bearings greased up and uh, you know rolling nicely. Also, the battery. Uh, you want to always inspect the battery at least once a year. Make sure that you have a load test performed. Uh, make sure that the batteries are going to be operating normally. All right, moving up onto the roof. I just wanted to. Uh, explain that uh, we recommend you have your roof inspected at least twice a year uh, get those lap seals cleaned and keep make sure that they are uh, staying sealed up but you do got a front lap seal lap seal around everything that is through the roof except the air conditioner recommend that they just be cleaned And if needed, you can apply more lap sealant to keep it sealed. All right. Go ahead and name it. Adam. So this is going to conclude everything on the outside. Now I'm going to get down. We're going to go inside. Coming in, uh, this 251BH, you'll see the bunkhouse in the back, bathroom beside the bunkhouses. So, very nice. Now to let the slide, slide room out, the monitor panel is around the wall uh, that the TV entertainment system is on. So I'm just gonna reach right over here and hit the slide out. I'm going to press and hold until the slide goes all the way out. So there are a few rules about the slides that I like to say. Um, you know, one rule is all the way out or all the way in. Another rule is uh, when the slide is inside the camper, don't put any weight, like walking on the floor and store heavy stuff on it while it's inside. And when you're done camping, before you bring the slide back in, make sure that the roof of the slide out is completely clean of any debris because if not, it will leak. All right. That same uh, panel that the slide switch is on also has the awning as, uh, as far as able to use the awning. I like to say a few rules about the awning as well. Um, try not to overextend your awning so when you see the awning tube that's a good indication to stop and whenever it starts to rain be sure to fully pitch your awning just by grabbing this bar pulling down so that way the water will run off of the awning and not pull up and stretch the awning just like so before you roll the awning back up, I would re recommend to put the awning pitch back all the way up.
And I also do not recommend tying or tethering the arms down in any way. So if it's windy, you know, it'll, it'll cause some damage, so don't put it out when it's windy. While I'm rolling the awning back in, we do have a few light switches. Uh, the top of this panel uh, is what uh, is going to monitor your tanks. So we got uh, battery and then fresh for the for the holding, black tank, gray, and then galley for the kitchen sink only. Uh, these uh, red switches over here, the two on the very left, this is for the hot water heater on gas. This is for the hot water heater on electric. Um, and then of course your water pump, you'll only use if you have water in your fresh tank. All right. So, this camper's gonna come with a little radio. It's a media player. Uh, it already comes equipped with a TV. Uh, stove is gonna be gas only like the furnace. Um, now the furnace will self ignite. Uh, the stove, uh, you have a knob here that will ignite the stove. So, we'll turn the top burners on. Just give it a sec or two to let the gas get there. And then, voila. Same thing with the uh, oven. Just uh, put your little flame symbol. You're gonna have to press and hold this knob in. Once you hold it in for about 15 seconds, uh, you can use the igniter knob to ignite the pilot in the oven. Make sure you turn everything to off when you're done, right? And uh, don't try to cook anything on top of the glass. We see some back trailer. So here we have a 12 volt refrigerator. It does have a master switch at the top of the refrigerator with the set that's uh, flashing blue. You'll just press and hold that for 10 seconds. Wait to see the main light turn on and then give it a couple of hours to get nice and cold before you put any food in. All right, now we do have an AC blowing, so it's a little cooler in here. And I did that by the thermostat. So this is gonna control your AC. It's also gonna control your furnace and then uh, off for whenever you're not wanting to use it. <clears throat> See, we do have uh, ground fault protected outlets. Uh, this outlet here has the main reset in the master bedroom. Cargo under the mattress. Manual cranks. This uh, also has a laundry chute. We'll go down into the front cargo area as well. Alright. <clears throat> now, if you do uh, experience any power failure, you can always come right here to this power box that's underneath the bunk. It'll definitely open up. You have uh, 125 breakers, DC fuses, uh, anything trips. Uh, you do have one more GFCI reset on this breaker inside the uh, power box. Yeah. Looks like we can actually get to that pretty easily. some extra extra things so foldable bottom bunk air all right that's going to conclude the uh you know walk through on this 2022 springdale 251 bh my name is brian happy camping